Hello and welcome to Backseat Gamer. It's in the game. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. E, 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 e. And Jason Amherst. Yay. And we're dooming. Uh, hopefully this will be we're... the last session of Doom. If it's not, the next one will be. But we're well, going to be starting... Last uh, time... it's, it's... When we last left on Doom, guys, we had beaten the main campaign and this was the uh, extra perkular stuff yeah this is the uh, extra campaign oh I, I forgot I had this little grabber thing also uh, I have I need something something I forgot to, my, to do my wiener my wiener yes yeah, so I forgot my wiener I left it in a box my get a hole in the box I was the gonna box. give you a, the old buckle buck you cut a hole in the box. Then you do other things in a box. Yeah. Take your shit out of shoe. Take your shit in a shoe. <laughs> Take a shit in a shoe. Lick Scooby Doo. So yeah, this uh, Japanese company, uh, Niji Sanji, has been making a lot of news for screwing over their talents uh, who have left uh, bit by bit. And uh, another former talent came out recently. Um, they screwed them over with their tax paperwork, apparently. Since you filed my taxes, right? Yep, we sure did. Oh, wait, no. We filed taxes, just not yours. Oh, dear. Yep, yep, no, they, they totally screwed this one person, which screwed them over on both their health insurance and their taxes, causing them to owe a ton of money and not have health insurance. Now, is it is it different in Japan in terms of taxes? Well, no, here's, here's the thing. They screwed over an English-speaking talent who did not live oh. in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this this is where things are getting a little, you know, shady is they've been having issues with their talents who don't live in Japan, who have been working for them as part of their English speaking branch. And gotcha. yeah, it's 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 been nothing but controversy left and right yeah, it's been to the point where since you looked at me. <laughs> yeah, like pe people are yelling for them to sink the yacht because the the person who runs the company is a filthy stinking rich you know uh bill, like japanese billionaire and doesn't seem to care about the talent or the company you know it's it's just like yeesh well Meanwhile, the 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 competition hollow live is actually building a uh, branch in the United States in California. Ah. They're they're gonna have official offices in California. California. So uh, hey, maybe maybe you could do legal work for uh, for for uh, Cover Corp. Well, maybe. Karaoke starts at ten. That means I would have to go to law school. Sorry, I was responding to a text <laughs> message. Somebody was somebody text messaged me. <laughs> ah. Ah, my God, okay. The message was, "What time for karaoke tonight?" Because I run karaoke <laughs> on Wednesday nights. Ten to ten to your own damn business. <laughs> well, technically, it is ten to two. <laughs> that is that is the time <laughs> I run it. So that joke works even better. Oh. Great. Oh, 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 Yep, mm hmm. I knew that was gonna happen. Did you? You know, I kept on, I kept on hearing all, and I'm going, all. Oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. What are you waiting for, you dumb, stupid fuck? 
Uh, we're going down you know, to the I Erebus. Just read that prompt on the screen is ejaculation elevator. Yeah. You don't do that. <laughs> you never you ejac ejaculated in an elevator. You've he, he, never ejaculated in an elevator. Oh, here, let me push the button for the stimulator. I mean, elevator. The stimulator. So I watched a fascinating video last night about uh, Samoa Joe versus Necro Butcher. Oh dear. This fat son of a bitch. Samoa Joe, fat. He's fat. <laughs> you know, he he, he played no that clip from me. too. He he what? played that clip too. <laughs> what is did Samoa Joe murder Necro Butcher? Well, because uh, cause, like it was just this fascinating thing about like uh, about Necro Butcher and Deathmatch Wrestling and how like Samoa Joe had no interest in I guess wrestling him and how Chikara was family friendly wrestling and Necro Butcher apparently wrestled a couple of like I guess uh, Chikara students or something at the time in Ring of Honor and like really brutalize these guys or something and it kind of pissed off Samoa Joe and it, one thing led to another and at one point they wrestled in Chikara and it was a really brutal match for a Chikara audience mm -hmm. holy poop holy poop holy poop oh and the best part is is like CM Punk was on commentary with like Colt Cabana or something too like Hi, so it turns out they were friends. Once. At some point. Yeah, at, at, at one point. Yeah. Hmm. Before the shit hit the fan. Yeah, and then and then uh, at the very end of the video, he brings up the uh, whole CM Punk falling out with Chikara and them creating CP Monk and Colt Cabunny uh, to make fun of CM Punk. And when CP Monk was... Uh, Unmasked, it turned out it was Necro Butcher. Yeah. Remember, folks. Yeah, I know. One... Long term storytelling. Remember, folks, at one time, the Chikara commissioner was Bob Sack. It's true. That's who I'm rolling with. Pick a pick a Bob Bob Saget. Rolling with the homies. Homing with the homies. I don't need to watch that video. Thank you. Boop. Give me this PDA. Hey, listen. Necro Butcher has the credentials. He's in the CZW Hall of Fame. Come on now. With such, I mean, the guy, guy's a deathmatch classic, you know. With such illuminaries as uh, Wife Beater and Nick Gage. <laughs> and Trent Acid and Chomo Steve. Wait, I may I might have made that <laughs> one up. Don't know. Don't you remember when Chomo Steve took on Arn Anderson in that seventy-two minute <laughs> part minute? burner? Yeah, <laughs> that's a main event anywhere in Azerbaijan. Yeah, and he actually beat Arn Anderson after hitting him with the lolly driver. It's true. <laughs> Holy <child. laughs> Is that where you find deep. like a little girl in the audience and beat the crap out of somebody with them? <laughs> it's a regular pile driver, but you grab their junk on the way down. Oh, <laughs> Lolly driver, you've been down too long in the midnight sea. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a bubble. Here, here is your winner as the new world. Oh no, it's the Stargate. Oh wait, no, we can't say that. That's copyrighted. Uh, it's, it's, it's the Fargate. Fargate. <laughs> it, it's the 
It's the Star Wars. Oh wait, no, that's even worse. It's the Stargate. It's on Stargate. Yeah. It's best to pass. Oh, I know, this is Mr. Brown. <laughs> Space the Plutonians really were like some of the best characters on Aqua Teen. I I really wish they would have done a full length show of the Moon Knights against the Plutonians. Well, I mean, if you piece together all the Space Katas bits, apparently it is one whole episode. Well, not I'm just saying like a full like thirteen episode. Yeah, See, yeah. Of, the, of, the, of the, these two groups just trading pranks and barbs back and forth. You can suck on our thoughts, uh. Yeah, that's right. You can't, you can't see this, but I'm doing it as hard as I possibly can. Uh. I think you died. Yeah, I did. Sucks. Hey, it don't matter. None of this None matters. Space Kata. Boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a But yeah, anyway, if you aren't already aware, because sometimes I publish videos way in advance, uh, to schedule, or schedule them to publish, rather, uh, there, our next playthrough is already, I've finally decided on it, and, um, it is a sequel to a game that we played last year, around this time. Yeah. We are playing the next game after this will be Project Warlock 2. Woo! I'm quite excited about it. I enjoyed the first game. I was going to say, that first game was pretty groovy. Yeah, first game was damn good. I can't wait for Project Warlock 7. So very warlocked. It's true. Project Warlock in space. Oh, did I not grab the PDA? I must not have grabbed the PDA. You idiot, you need that. So what you get for not making out with her in public. <laughs> what, are you ashamed of her or something? Uh, also... I am going to try to go back to alternating games again, so we are also probably going to be starting another game and uh, after this one is done as well. I have it on good authority. He's going to be playing the anniversary edition of Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Uh, mm -hmm. no. That would uh, likely be a one-off, so that wouldn't work out for us. <laughs> but... I mean, um, one-offs are always nice, in but... The, in the spirit of uh, playing a modern boomer shooter and a classic boomer shooter at the same time, I'll probably be backtracking. We're going to take a break from Doom for a bit uh, because the next game is is a modern Doom game. Um, we're going to take a break for a little bit and probably go back and do, do the uh, Night Dive's Quake remasters. Oh, okay. So... Because they did, uh, they did remaster both both editions of Quake. You know, uh, I'm I'm just a little uh, bummed out because I'd like to see you go through uh, Dark Forces, the the Star Wars uh, I Doom game. We'll probably get there at some point, but I'm not going to buy it right now because it just came out and it's full price. I'm going to wait for it to come down in price a little bit. It's twenty five bucks. Right yeah, now, and I don't want to. I don't feel like I need to pay that much for that game. Whereas the Quake remasters are yeah. ten bucks each, and I could definitely afford that. I, I I still have the original. Like I got it. I got it on Steam. I got the DOS box one on Steam. I got the PS one one on uh, PS on PlayStation. Right. You know, but like uh, 
the, re- the remaster say, is the re- awfully better. Tempting. I was gonna say the remaster is <laughs> like know. better, better. <laughs> it's just like it's just better. Okay? Yeah, it is. But I'm just awful. I'm it's just awful at the game in general. I'd rather uh, I'd rather be watching yeah. someone else play it. And I could just as easily just go grab Quake on DOS and play it on DOS Box. But the thing is, is I would rather do the the remasters because they're updated for HD and they are in widescreen, and I prefer that for this show. Oh, uh, so I don't mind giving Night Dive twenty more dollars just to play some classic first person shooters that I love. At uh, at the time of this recording, uh, the group I'm associated with, Digital Era Entertainment, uh-huh. their Kickstarter was successful. They reached their funding goal for uh, their wrestling themed visual novel game, uh, Kokorona Pro. Nice. Congrats. Hey. So, uh, of course, that's the funding goal for the first half of the story. They might have to go back eventually uh, and uh, do a second uh, Kickstarter uh, after publishing the first, I guess, season of the uh, story for the game but yeah you know I mean uh, it's it's exciting just to see this come to fruition for them I I'm very excited I get to my dream role of playing fan number 17 because mm-hmm. <laughs> I I donated 476 million dollars <laughs> I, I I wouldn't I couldn't do that. So. I I did back it because uh, they they are good folks, you know. And I I am a uh, I mean I am on uh, their podcast every week for uh, the anime podcast. So it's true. They started started putting me on podcast. I'll give you anything you want. I'll I'll give you a. I'll give you a BJ. I'll give you a Hucklebuck, a BJ, an RJ. What's a hard? Oh, well, we have an RJ. He's 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 the uh, co-creator of uh, that visual novel. Is he named Rim Job? Does he suck ass? I don't know what RJ is actually short for, but but. Roaring Roaring Julius. Ha! <laughs> Roaring. Julius, that's the name of the that's, episode. You heard, you heard me. I don't think I stuttered. You're gonna hear me, Roarange. Julius. <laughs> all, all it is is slightly frozen orange juice. Come on. Yeah, I've never had orange there juice before. There we go. Before. Good lord. There we go. Hey, you got an achievement. Mo. I did. You wouldn't see. You won't see it. You won't see it on the. You won't see it on the actual episode. But you, you guys saw it. <laughs> you did. My OBS. Thing. My OBS is set up to ignore Steam overlays. <sighs> like this, for instance, you can see this, but they can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, nice John Cena. Do 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 do. Uh, something is horribly wrong with your dude, like... Whoops. Oh, no! Oh, Lord. Back to start. Again. Yeah, that means I'm going to have to beat that guy again. Oh, God. Maybe I should quick save after I beat him. (laughs) Yeah, that would be a good idea. And now it's time for another good idea, bad idea. Good idea. Uh, Quick saving after beating the boss. Bad idea. Bad idea. The Holocaust. Sticking your dick in a lights. (laughs) Good idea. (laughs) Killing off Larry the Barfly. Bad idea. Killing off the Jews. (laughs) It's true. It's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. It's true. You shouldn't do it. It's just terrible. No, Why would you even think to do that, you sick fuck? <laughs> as, as I, I say to nobody in particular. Did Larry the Barfly ever speak? 
or was he just a? I think he had like a line a few times of cocaine. Ha <laughs> ha. No. I don't know. Simpsons just continues to be like wildly experimental because, like, like basically drugs. they've. Yeah, no, they've they've gotten to like the Seth MacFarlane like we don't give a shit, like period. Well, yeah, they've been on the air for fucking thirty five years. What do you expect? I mean, at this point, Family Guy is literally on Wednesdays. I think now. Yeah, oh my god. Either either before or after Animal Control with uh, what's his name from Community and the Chevy Chase. At this point. No. At this point, no, Chevy the Chase other guy. Is... Chevy Chase is an animal, and he needs to be controlled. It's true. <laughs> the com- point, the comedy Carlin central going... roast of Chevy Chase. Oh, oh. <laughs> the the roast where Chevy Chase actually got like mentally destroyed <laughs> because none of his friends showed up. Wait, did that really happen? Yeah. His roast in 2002, that was the last New York Flyer, Friars Club roast to air. And he, he'd had one, he'd Club, had one... He'd had one once before that wasn't televised, and it was funny because all of his friends were there, the people he knew from, like, Saturday Night Live and shit. But this roast, fucking nobody he knew. Like, Lorraine Newman was there, I think, and that was pretty much it. And Paul Simon was the roast master, and that was it. He didn't know anybody else that was on the stage. And that's a shame because there was some really funny fucking comedians on that stage. Uh, Greg Giraldo's first roast was that one. Uh, Stephen Colbert was there, and he had probably the best set. Uh, Todd Berry was there. But, like, he didn't know anybody. And the jokes were, like, like, so personal. It was just about him being an asshole, which he was. Still is. And it was just so personal that he went right to his hotel room after the roast and actually broke down. And Paul Simon had to come to his room and and comfort him. Okay, so... Because Chevy came to the realization that everybody he knew hated him. (laughs) I was going to say, this might be a slightly hot take, but uh, when you forge a career being a complete piece yeah. of shit to everybody. Yeah. Oh, women ain't funny. You really, you shouldn't be surprised when people that you consider your friends but here's like the, you. Here's the thing. you A normal person would learn from this and be like, I need to change. I'm being an asshole and I that's not working out for me. Maybe if I start being nice... People will respect me more. People will want to work with me. No. Chevy was like, oh, nobody likes me. Nope. Going to continue being a dick face. And that's well, it. He's been okay, a dick so, face ever since, pretty much. So th- there's apparently a quote unquote. He walked right into the beam of that ball. <laughs> what a dipshit. <laughs> there's apparently a thought experiment going around where they're asking women, who would you rather be alone in the woods with? A man or a bear? And people are choosing the bear. And of course, all of the incels and the men going their own way thing are going, that's not fucking females. What's the matter with you? Rather than going, huh, you know, women would rather choose Maybe I'm the problem. (laughs) You know, maybe men should do better. Right? You would think. All right, quick save. There we go. Now I'm going to try to figure out how to fuck I get it. Oh, there's just a door here. Never mind. I'm not supposed to get across. The whole time? Oh, and there's a checkpoint. Just save. Oh, good <laughs> lord. Well, that happened. Well, now don't you feel silly? I do. I usually feel silly, though. Especially when I like uh, do things like Nope. Say when, especially when I do things like say today's today's date was the third, even though it wasn't. I wasn't gonna mention that, but Mike mentioned it anyway. 
Oh, that thing is bullet time. That heart. Yeah. I see. I so thought it uh, was... Somebody Max Payne to my Doom game. It's pain! Oh, wait, wait. I have to do the Max Payne enemy sound. Oh! So I'm just getting, like, PTSD stuff now, like, from playing Borderlands 3 recently. Because uh, Borderlands 3 had the most egregious uh, celebrity cameo of all time. Yeah. Pain and terror. Bet you can't guess who they were. Um. Uh, Nickelback? No. <laughs> Danny DeVito and Chris Christopherson? Oof. <laughs> I mean, come on, with, with names like that, like, what what sounds like pain and terror? Uh, Rhea Perlman and a cactus dildo? Yeah, good answer! Good, <laughs> good, good answer! Good answer! Good answer! <laughs> Maybe I'm just very tired, but I... I don't know if this is really very that obvious, but I don't know. Penn and Teller. Oh, God. Penn and Teller. Yeah, one of the, but one of them doesn't even talk. God damn it. That's the joke. So no. Penn Gillette's thank voice you. is in the game. By the way, thank you, Chuck. I thank you, Chime, for telling me my paycheck arrived uh, approximately six hours after it arrived. And I already had known it arrived. Thanks, Chime. Stupid, you're, you're great. Stupid Chime. <laughs> I love I love that it tells me, oh, you, your paycheck has arrived. Yeah, I knew that six hours ago when I was paying bills with it. Thanks. <laughs> uh, about oh, halfway to two-thirds of the way through the game in Borderlands 3. Because, God, that game so is you're much longer three, than I remember. Three-eighths of the way through the game, then? <laughs> yeah, no, like, it, it's it's weird. Like, I'm trying to judge what the halfway point How in the game is. How dare you make me do addition on fractions? <laughs> God, I yeah, hate going to like, the math sucks. Yeah. It's, it's either halfway or two-thirds of the way through the game. I can't tell anymore. All I know is that you have to fight, uh, you, you have to make your way to basically, uh, Go fuck the, yourself, the demon. I'm trying of, like, to open this shit. This truckzilla. <laughs> trying to open this shit. Truckzilla. Uh, I told is, you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Inside is a giant robot monster, and when you beat the giant robot monster, it explodes and reveals pain and terror, which are caricaturized versions of Penn and Teller as bandits from Borderlands. And you get to kill them. Hi, this is Penn. This is my partner, Teller. And this is Borderlands bullshit. <laughs> yeah, throughout that whole segment of the game, you hear him, like, carnival barkering the whole time, too. Like, because they've kidnapped one of the main characters, and they're like, We're going to have an execution! Yeah! Talking about an execution. Well, you know, no. you just want to lose like, your head. They, they are they are the high point of that game. They are so much more entertaining than the actual villains of Borderlands 3. But I swear, if the character of Typhon de Leon is in a second Borderlands movie, he better be Danny DeVito. Charlie. Seriously, the way this character talks in the game, he is Danny DeVito. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta find a picture of this character and send it to you. Because, like... <laughs> because, boy, I tell you... You say you want Danny DeVito, well, you know. Huh? We all know I'm the trash man. <laughs> Seriously, so everything that he's... Talking. You you find his, uh, you find his little, uh, uh, pedestals everywhere. And, uh, 
they're all little like quotes left behind of of his adventures to find the first vault. And he's like, hey, fellow adventurers, this is Typhon Delia. Some history dweebs paid me a fun loan to record an Echo series about my adventures. And Typhon needs a new ship. Crash the old one. Hold on, whoa. Did you mother. just say my diaper needs a new shit? No, and Typhon needs a new ship. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, even, that's even worse. My diaper needs a new <laughs> shit. The old one stinks. Crash the old one. Angry sorry and brood mother, runaway sandwich, long story. Anywho, I was born to a family of turd farmers. A lot of money in the turds those days. Good, dependable fuel, turds. That's why I always say, if you step in crap, consider the upside. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Seriously, like, everything about this character screams Danny DeVito. But then when you see, when you finally meet the character near the end of the game, you go, holy shit, it is just Danny DeVito. They, they just made a freaking character. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to the freaking Facebook one. Yeah, I bet you will. Uh, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> You say you're down for prostitution. Well, you know, we all want to blow our load. Okay, it's kind of funny because one of the pictures, uh, you yeah, there's, it? there's actually an article. They originally wanted to cast Danny DeVito in the role, but they couldn't get him. Ah, okay. Well, that, you better that... check your erection for STDs. That that makes perfect sense, all things considered. And after you do that, <laughs> you can go down on your knees. Will you? <laughs> Will you... your mouth makes me feel? <laughs> you, better check right. your... you better check your erection for STD. That's what happens because it burns when you pee. He has the tablet ready for translation. Oh, no, it's gonna burn. All right. All right. All right. The Beatles. The Beatles. This song. Beatles making love on the leaf. I've always liked you, Ringo. Ringo. Remember when we had that game? Yeah. You talking about rock what band? Game? Beatles rock band? What game, Ringo? Yeah, you know, the rock band one. Oh. Oh, I remember that. Well, it. considering Ringo, that three, that half of us were dead by the time that came out. It's true. <laughs> yeah. So uh, how, how about the Beatles cinematic universe? The fact that they're going to make four separate movies about one for each individual Beatle before making a Beatles movie. Okay. Well, uh, I can tell you I already know, that the John Lennon being... one's going to end real bad. I don't know if you're being serious or not, but if this is actually true, I would see those movies. Yeah, I probably would too. I'll be honest. Hello there, I'm Joel Chatterson. I hope somebody doesn't attack me in my own home with a knife. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, Sam only... Mendes to di direct four separate Beatles movies on Paul McCartney, John Lennon, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. The first, the first half of all four of those movies is going to be the exact same. Oh, oh, look at that instrument! I love that. It's, uh, all four films will come out apparently in 2027. Jesus! <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm guessing they're filming all four of them at once. Yeah, apparently. Danny so, DeVito is Ringo Starr. So anyway, God. I started drumming. So anyway, I wrote Octopus's God at John. <laughs> hey guys, I wrote a song! 
So anyway, I wrote, uh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Hey, look, oh, very good, one. Ringo. We're gonna put that on the fridge. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and then they, 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 they're going to do the fifth movie where all the Beatles are together and then Thanos snaps them out of existence. Well, half of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. Oh, no. What, hap what happened to George and John? That's a strange way to gloss over John Lennon's murder, but all right. <laughs> I was I was making an MCU universe joke. You... Thanos will be played by Mark David Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! Uh. So then, the character that he was supposed—who was the character that Thanos was trying to impress? Oh, Lady Death. So then uh, Jodie Foster would be Lady Death. Yeah. Isn't, uh, isn't Lady Death attracted to Deadpool or is that a different character? Honestly, I have no clue. I mean, like, I, I have a hard time keeping up with comics because, you know, multiverse... Mm-hmm. When is that Deadpool and Wolverine? Uh, oh, like July, July. 25th I was say, or July. 26th. Yeah. This summer. Mm. I literally saw the uh, cardboard standee for it when I went to go see uh, Spy Family uh, in IMAX. You know, this is apparently the only Marvel Universe movie coming out this year. So July 26th. They better, uh, they better hedge their bets. I think it's going to be good. You know, I have the feeling it's going to be good numbers. I, I, I don't, I don't see this bomb. I mean, hell, I saw, uh, I, I watched the latest episode of uh, freaking X Men '97 today. Holy shit, it's good. Damn, it yeah, I've just heard keeps nothing. Good. I was just I have nothing. I've heard nothing but good things about X Men '97. I've, I've heard all positives about it. So, apparently, it is really yeah. Fun. Like it's a return to form for the X Men comic. Return. If, I mean, animated if, series. If, if anything, they might be building towards a animated cinematic universe potentially. Because I, the fact be that cool. like all the well, all the animated shows were connected back in the nineties. If you if you recall, a lot of the more well received and well uh, positively reviewed. DC Universe movies were the animated ones. That's true. So, yeah. Get away. Stay back. You don't get it. Stay back. I'm not okay. Keep away. I'm not okay. I have to poop. I, I beg your pardon. I gotta poop, I gotta poop, I gotta poop, I gotta poop, I gotta poop. Move! Get out of the way! I gotta go to the bathroom! Dude, you gotta actually, move! There's one, I gotta poop! I gotta poop, I gotta there's move. one uh, DC Universe animated movie that I actually want to see, that I've heard nothing but good things about, it is Gotham by Gaslight. Mm, yeah, no, that one, uh, that one was uh, pretty good, apparently. Move! My stomach hurts so bad, and now I gotta climb the stairs. Oh fuck! I let a little out. Uh, okay. Yep. It's a good song. Insert weird sounding trumpet here. <laughs> Is that the trumpet you, or his butt? You decide. You, you guys good? <laughs> you okay? You want to talk about it? No. That the song. Yeah. I know it's the song, God damn it. I was looking at a joke. 
Yeah. And we first referenced it on MVG Live way back when we, we uh, did that short little playthrough of Bioshock. Get rid of this friggin' blinking thing. There we go. I'm not gonna listen to the audio logs anyway. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, somehow these zombies would be a lot less scary if they all sounded like Opie. <laughs> they kind of do, so. Oh, here's where I put the. <laughs> oh, I need two cells. So the, Fuck me in the ass. The, the, question, the question to ask, though, about uh, Doom 3 would is you fuck it, it canon? Oh, no. <laughs> and I shove it up my ass. Probably. If you had a physical copy, you could. Okay, okay all joking aside, what is the question? Is Doom 3 the, canon? The question was, is it canon? I think that's open to interpretation. Personally, uh, if, if you believe uh, the uh, Doom Eternal storyline and you ignore all the Argent Dinner stuff, Doom 64 is the true Doom 3. Mm. And Doom 64 leads right into Doom 2016. Hmm. So Doom 3 is just a bad acid trip? Pretty much. It's not even the same character. This isn't Doom Guy we're playing on. This is a completely different character. So. Flynn Taggart, this is not. Ha cha 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 cha. Remember? Hey, remember when they made that live action Doom movie and it kinda sorta sucked? Kinda sorta they sucked. They made two of them. They made two of them. They made two of them? Yep. I don't remember the second one. Double barrel shotgun. Doom annihilation. What the? Super turbo turkey puncher three. Doom annihilation came out in 2019. It has a 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. You don't say. A it is a reboot. A sequel to a shitty movie has a bad nope, score. It, is, it is an attempted reboot of the franchise after the first one was kind of bad, too. It was released by Universal 1440, which you, means you know it's definitely bad. Bum, 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 it was direct to video. Oh, there's the other power cell. Sweet. Now I can go back and do the thingy. Ooh, director video. That's that that really shows. While the shotgun in this game is shit, the double shotgun, which is exclusive to this uh, DLC, on a United Aerospace is Corporation, actually base. very good. <laughs> on almost, Doctor Betruger prepares to teleport a volunteer from a lab in Nevada to Phobos by using ancient teleporters known as gates. The experiment proves successful, but the subject emerges partially deformed and insane. On a UAC transport vessel, a group of Marines on a mission to guard the Phobos base awaken from cryo sleep. Amongst them is Joan Dark, a disgraced lieutenant. The other Marines are reluctant to work with. Joining them is Bennett Stone, a scientist and ex-boyfriend of Joan. Against Dr. Khan's wishes, 
Petruger prepares to teleport himself to the Nevada base. After preparations by medic Veronica, Petruger passes through the gate. However, the Phobos base suddenly goes offline as monsters emerge from the gate. What are you? Re- yeah. What? What is that you're reading? The plot of the movie Doom Annihilation. Oh, they reused Petruger from the from this game. That's interesting. I think that's. I think that's what we're trying to get at. Yeah. So, unable to communicate with or enter the base, the Marines receive orders to investigate and restore power. Yada, yada, yada. Joan acquires the BFG. Bennett is attacked by an imp. Joan shoots her way to the gate chamber. She's attacked by a zombified Bennett, forcing her to kill him. Joan shoots Petruger, who resurrects immediately and pushes Joan into the gate. Joan is teleported to hell, where she en- encounters a horde of imps and Stanga. Uh, their overlord. Stanger reveals that they plan to reclaim the Earth and annihilate humanity. Joan shoots him and blasts the horde with plasma grenades as she makes her way back to the gate. Uh, Dr. Khan believes it to be Betruger coming through. As the film cuts to black, a growl is heard. This, this is a Doom movie with a female lead character, by the way. Oh, so then I'm sure all the neck beards were. There should be a female guy. I'm gonna go finger myself. You know, I'm looking at I'm looking at my ass. Dwayne the Rock Johnson's oh, upcoming movies. He's doing Moana two. Yes, as the voice <laughs> of Maui and Good Moana with that one. Good luck with that one, Dwayne, considering it comes out the same weekend as Wicked. Mm, mm, mm. He's he's doing he's in a movie called The King, where he plays King Kamehameha. Now, like, come on, like are you are you for real here? Is that based off of an actual king or King Kamehameha? Uh, yeah. It's King Kamehameha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes, oh. it is an actual king. I don't. I my my mind yeah, well, automatically I... went to. You know, my mind automatically automatically went to King Kamehameha as yeah. in Dragon Ball. Well, yeah, that's where it came from. Yeah. It's pronounced Kamehameha. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Never mind then. Yeah. Kamehameha the first, also known as Kamehameha the Great. Conqueror and first ruler have, of the kingdom of Hawaii. You might have also heard the name in uh, Kyle's mom's a bitch. On Monday, she's a bitch. Tuesday, she's a bitch. Wednesday through Saturday, she's a bitch. Then on Sunday, just to be duper, different, she's a super king, Kamehameha Biatch. Is that what he's been saying? All- oh. Yep. I was today years old, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good lord. She's a super king, Kamehameha Biatch. He's do uh speak going back to the pebble. Uh, he's doing a I guess a remake of Big Trouble in Little China. Oh jeez. Yeah. Something called Doc Savage, which I think isn't that a comic book? Doc Savage, the man of bronze, was raised from childhood by a team of scientists to become the original superhero of the 1930s. A man of great mental and physical strength, he ran around the world battling larger than life. Okay, whatever. Think we know what happened the last time you did a villain movie. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Black Adam. And it, and it sucked Adam. It sucked ass. Uh, yeah. Man. The fact that Red One is so over budget is just sad. What is this? Even? After a shocking abduction from the North Pole, the commander of the Elf Task Force must partner with the world's most infamous bounty hunter to. Oh my god. Is this this elf, is elf task force? 
he, you're you're uh, reading about Richard one, right? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah. Originally scheduled to be on Prime Video Worldwide in time for Christmas 2023, uh, it was delayed originally because of the SAG after a strike, among other things. Uh, apparently, uh, footage of Red One was first shown at CinemaCon to journalists selected by Johnson's publicist, but they were not allowed to write about what they saw. Then what was the point? Yeah, no kidding. Wait, well, hold on a second. So journalists handpicked by The Rock were allowed to see a trailer, but they couldn't write about it. That's that's not that doesn't really put a lot of um, a lot of faith in your own production. The film stars Dwayne Johnson, Chris Evans, Kiernan Shipka, Lucy Liu, Mary Elizabeth Ellis, J.K. Simmons, Nick Kroll, and Christopher Hivju. Christopher Hivju. Bless you. Oh, but J.K. Simmons is playing Santa Claus. Uh, Christopher Hivieu uh, is Bless a you. Norwegian actor for playing uh, Ormund Giantsbane in Game of Thrones and Connor Rhodes in The Fate of the Furious. Oh, that would explain it. Uh, and he was also in Cocaine Bear. Uh, Johnson, Hiram G Garcia, Danny Garcia, Kasdan, Melvin Marr, and Morgan serve as producers. So, uh, The Rock's X is one of the producers on it. I love how the first, the first piece of trivia on IMDb for Red Bull. <clears throat> The rap reported that Dwayne Johnson's frequent tardiness, sometimes arriving as late as eight hours and missing entire days of shooting, ballooned the budget to $250 million. Yep. Uh, the producers uh, of the film have come out and said that that's actually not true. Well, yeah, it says it's been disputed. Yeah. Um, it's also saying here... Um, that uh let's see uh the first of a potential franchise reimagining holiday mythology <laughs> oh no it's a holiday film universe coming soon gently in the first thanksgiving <laughs> with jackie chan at the turkey coming Maybe this spring what? chris rock is the easter bunny let me tell you something, man. No Easter eggs coming out of my ass. And uh, that is the first thing Billy hears. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chan as the turkey. Leave me alone. I don't want to be eaten. <laughs> to be fair, Jackie Chan was hilarious in the Ninja Turtles movie. You know, I make, I make me like, a Peking duck. I feel very bad because this morning Billy was streaming, and I jokingly said, "Like, oh, I guess you can join us tonight." And Billy gave me the gave the camera the filthiest look. Like, I, I was just joking around, Billy. Jesus. I actually I was concentrating on the game. I give a lot of dirty looks when I'm playing a game. Oh, okay. I was gonna say like, you gave the camera a death glare. I was like, whoa. Sorry, sorry, Jillian. <laughs> it's just what uh, I look like when I'm playing games. Have you uh, have you seen that there's a version of Kukiomi now that you can play online with people? If I knew what that was, I would do it. It's it's the game that uh, the VTubers have played. Kukiyomi it's kind of like WarioWare. It. Oh, you know what? I've probably seen it, but I just... It's it's the game where everything is like black and white, and it has like the weirdly drawn people, and like the whole goal of the game is like they don't tell you what to do. It's all a bunch of mini games, and you have to oh, consider oh, the okay. situation. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, yeah, I yeah, have yeah, that. yeah. There's there's now a seven player online version of that game on sale on Steam for like four fifty. Ugh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it, it, it looks it's, chaotic as hell. <laughs> it, it, 
you know, it's been so long since I've actually went into my Steam account. Since I've actually gone, you know, in Steam in general. And I, probably all my mods that are in some of my games are probably so out of date. <laughs> yeah, especially considering that, like, somebody false flagged a bunch of Nintendo mods and uh, they've been removing them all from Gary's mod, unfortunately. Oh, well, I don't play Gary's mod. I'm talking about my Skyrim game. Ah. Uh, Skyrim which job. Which yeah, well, handled by, like, a different website anyway. Yeah, I got, like... 125 mods put into the, into it something like that supplies and a lot of them, a lot of them are small weapons mods but of course I uh somebody it's like shut up let me put the code in <laughs> right I'm begging you over here uh, shut up I'm coding here <laughs> shut up like, I'm working here it was, it's like, you know, when you, uh, when they used to have phone booths and you would just get into the phone booth to call and someone was yeah. going to be banging on the phone booth right away. And it's like, I just started my call. Or when somebody honks their horn and, it, and the green light hasn't even, and the light hasn't even changed it yet. It just turned. And it just turned green like a half a second ago and they're blaring on their horn oh god it's the worst that's I'm when like, you like, stick your, that that's when you stick your hand like out the window and it your middle finger yeah and if they do that I just sit a little longer and then right before it, when it starts turning yellow that's when I drive off and then they get stuck behind me I've done that <laughs> so many times <laughs> Like, ah, oh, you gotta be that way. Okay. 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 I uh, played Metal Slug uh, this morning. Oh, yeah. Well, because uh, we were just talking about it uh, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I have to, I have the Metal Slug uh, uh, collection. We're, uh, for those of you and... wondering here at home, we are referring to... The uh, SNES Roulette episode where we played um, uh, what, Gun Force, I believe. Yeah, Gun yeah. Force. Yeah. Which is the predecessor to Metal, Metal Slug. Slug. Yeah. As it turns out. It is the ancestor, spiritual ancestor, as I would say. Yep. Oh, yeah, Billy, uh, I just sent you uh, something I got in the mail today. All right, let me see here. Let me see here. Did you send it to me on uh... Facebook? Oh, on Facebook. Yeah, I'm on my fo I'm on my phone right now, so I'll uh I'll check it out. Uh, hold on here. Oh wait, hold on here. Sent a photo. Sent a photo. Sent a photo. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I, I, I'm so glad I got it. I like that. Callie. It's a Callie on a giant deadbeat. <laughs> you know what's funny? Me and you are the only two that watch VTubers in this group. <laughs> yeah. I like the fact we'll be talking about something and Mike and Dane are like, I have no idea who you're talking about or what you're talking about. <laughs> so, or even better is uh, when uh, I wind up pressing a uh, button on my uh, soundboard back in the studio and it's a VTuber soundbite. <laughs> the confused <Yeah>. reaction. <laughs> um. You guys are like, you guys are nerds. You know that? You're a bunch of weird weebs. Whoa. That's, you know, that's pretty bizarre. You guys are nerds. I'm going to go poach some noobs now. You, you, guys are such fucking, you guys are such fucking nerds. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to go watch Dr. Who. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, Billy. Yeah? Crazy USA hamburger. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mike, aren't they the biggest fucking nerds you've ever seen in your life? 
Hold on. 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 Hold Thank you guys for joining us for this edition of MVG Live. Uh, fucking MVG Live. Fucking Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Joan, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Backseat Gamer.